Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Austin from Mini Beats. Today, I'm gonna be bringing you guys a cook up video. We're gonna be making a Roddy Rich gun and guitar beat. Um, we're gonna be using a melody that I made a couple days ago, but I'm still gonna show you guys how I made the melody. Um, I'm gonna break it down, show you guys the plugins I use, the effects I used, and uh, then we're gonna go ahead and make a beat out of it. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, so, this is the melody right here. Uh, first, I'm gonna let you guys take a listen, and then I'll break it down and show you, uh, you know, what uh what plugins we used and um what the effects and everything so here's the melody Alright, so first thing we got is a guitar um, a from Contact. Well, it's not from Contact. This is a you know a third-party plugin uh, that integrates with Contact. Uh, this is the guitar. This guitar is super fire. So if you're looking for a uh, acoustic guitar plugin, I highly recommend this plugin. I'm not really sure how to say it, but sounds really good. So that's the first part of it. The second part is um, Keyscape. Whoops. So this is the piano we used. Um, we use the uh, cinematic preset keyscape the classic key keyscape you all know what this is um so that's that's that and then last layer we have mellotron uh the clay preset and i'm not sure if this is like i'm not sure if this is a preset that came like a stock preset or if this is one that um i bought somewhere but i really love um mellotron and all the sounds it has so if you don't have mellotron or if you've never seen it use super fire I know a lot of people use it already, so I just, but if you haven't seen it, highly recommend that plugin. It's, it has a lot of good sounds. Um, and then last, we added a texture, it's just like some background noise. It's not really noticeable. I mean, if I muted it, most of you probably wouldn't even notice it, but we just added it in there just to give it a little bit of, a little bit of texture. So, um, I'm going to show you guys next the effects we used on everything. So first we have the guitar <clears throat> and a lot of these plugins we use are uh, from Universal Audio, so UAD plugins. These plugins are super fire. They're really expensive, but um, highly recommend they they sound really good. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what we we're using. So first for the guitar, we got Ocean Way Studios plugin. So this plugin is a sort of, uh, it's like a mic emulator. It kind of like, I mean, it is, I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory if you look at it. I mean, this is like the studio that's emulating and then you get to select the mics as if you're recording. So in this case, this is a guitar, an acoustic guitar. So usually if you were recording a live guitar, a real acoustic guitar, <clears throat> you would record it with a mic set up in a studio. So this kind of emulates that a little bit. Um, of course, it's not the same as actually recording a guitar, but you know, this is getting pretty close. So. Uh, you get to select the mic and the mic distance and you can um adjust the faders to turn up each mic so this is like the close mic like this would be the guitar right here and then this is the close mic recording the guitar and these are like some room mics that we have them turned down a little bit just to give it a little bit of ambience and then uh you can change the mics here you can click here and change the mics you can adjust everything you can also mute these other mics like whatever mic you want you can mute it or whatever mic you don't want you can mute those mics and uh it'll show right here and yeah so just plug in super fire um and then to the next thing we use on the guitar is the rc20 the classic rc20 most of you probably already know what this is but uh we use the vinyl one preset and adjusted some things i'm not really sure what we adjusted or uh what but this is the rc20 these are all the uh settings everything and yeah that's that everyone knows what that is and then last we have the um, SSL e channel strip legacy, which is a emulation of the SSL um, board thing, whatever it's called. <laughs> it's like a uh, like a classic analog. You know what SSL is. I mean, y'all probably know what this is, but if not, it basically has like um, an EQ, a compressor section, everything, and it's like a uh, you know an analog um, you know analog hardware type of thing, like a a remake i guess like the plug-in version of it but anyways um you can tell i'm like i don't i'm not 
I'm not an engineer, okay? Uh, but this is just what sounded good to me. So we added this plugin on there. Um, so we just kind of boosted some stuff and boosted some highs, some mids, and just kind of brought some life into the guitar. And yeah, so I'm gonna solo the guitar and then show you with and without the effects. So this is with the effects. And then without. So not a huge difference, honestly. Um, the goal was kind of to make it sound a little bit more mellow, I guess, but not too muted. Um, so that's why we we paired the RC20, but then added back in some of the highs. Um, I don't I don't know. It just it just sounded good to me. I just liked how it sounded. Uh, it's not a huge difference, but again, um, the biggest part in making beats, making melodies, drums included is just picking good sounds so even with no effects the guitar already sounds good so all we're doing with these plugins is trying to really um key in on what we're trying to make it sound like just to add some flavor or to you know kind of bring out certain elements that we want in the guitar so that's that next we have the piano uh piano has again the ocean way studio and we use the like a pre a piano preset in this and then we um adjust the faders so we have the close mic, the room mics, and we turn the room mics down. And then, yeah, so you already know what this plugin is. I'm not gonna go too deep into it. And then we have RC20 again. Um, again, trying to create that, you know, vinyl uh, sample type sound a little bit. Um, and then last two things are both EQs. And this is a another UAD EQ, um, another analog EQ type of thing, but uh, it kind of has a different tone to it. And yeah, so we kind of were going for the same thing. We just brought some of the highs up, but just in a different plug, a different EQ. So it just has a different tone to it. And then last, we have the parametric EQ2 where we uh, cut some of the lows. I cut the sub a little bit um, and then I cut the bass down a little bit, but not all the way. I know a lot of people like to just cut all the way, um, all the bass and everything. Uh, I don't really like to do that too often because I feel like it takes some of the body away from the instrument. Um, you know, I don't want it to completely sound dead, which I feel like happens if you take all the bass away. You know, I want it to have some body to it, but not too much to where it overpowers the 808 or makes the mix sound muddy. So that's what my thought was behind this um, EQ. And then last we have the, oh, let me uh, play this for you first. <clears throat> with and without the effects. So this is with the effects and then without. So again, not a huge difference, just um, sounds a little bit more clear and like a little bit, I'm not sure, Just it just fit the vibe. Um, so then we have the Mellotron last thing and all this has is uh, a couple EQs on it. Again, the SSO um, channel strip EQ, and then um, we just boosted some highs again. Um, that was pretty much it. We took out some lows as well. And then on this, we cut some more lows. Uh, I like using this PR metric EQ2 to cut stuff because I can see it. And I know that you're supposed to mix by ear, but sometimes I feel like if you use the parametric EQ or any EQ, like if you use a different um, plugin or like a different DAW, you can kind of mix by sight if you have, if you can see like, if you can clearly see like, maybe you kind of hear something is sticking out and it sounds bad, but then you don't really know exactly how to adjust it. Well, you can come in here and look at it and you see all these lines. Well, if something is really bright and sticking out a lot, and then at the same time in your ears, you're hearing something like a piercing noise, or like something that makes it sound muddy. Usually you can kind of like just see where it is and cut it or, you know, do whatever you got to do to fix it. Um, that's why I like doing a uh, subtractive EQ uh, with the parametric EQ2 because I can see it. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole melody. So now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make a drum pattern and make this into a beat. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm just going to make a, uh, you know, just a four bar loop. Uh, usually I would double it and make it like that just to have some uh, variation, but for sake of time, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a drum pattern and 
shameless plug i'm about to be using the uh, midi beats rocket volume one drum kit so if you like these drum sounds you want any of these uh you can go to midibeats.com and check out this drum kit so shameless plug but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and uh make this beat and i think i'm gonna do like a uh a triplet vibe just to kind of like this is all triplet uh inspired type you know like you know what i'm saying like triplet is like when you put it on one third step and you kind of follow that like all this strum is all um like that's a triplet feel so i'm kind of i'm gonna do that with the drums as well um and yeah so let's see what i come up with and i'll let you guys hear it when i'm done all right so i think i got the pattern i think i got my drums ready so basically what i did um well i'll let you guys hear it first and then i'll kind of tell you all what it, what was going through my head so this is it all right so let me actually i don't think i have a clip for that let me i was about to say i was like why does it sound like that so always in the master, I always use a clipper, um, never use a limiter, uh, but I use the T-Rex classic clipper. You can also use the fruity soft clipper right there and adjust the threshold. Um, so it'll accomplish the same thing, but anyways, so for the drums, basically what I did was, like I said, uh, with the triplet thing, uh, with the guitar, it's, you know, it has like a triplet strum, even the, even the, um, the piano has like a little triplet um, ending here. So basically what I did was try to like kind of complement that and uh, kind of go with that bounce. Uh, I'm going to adjust some of these velocities too, actually. Um, just to give it some, you know, some something, some flavor, some variation. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Let me... Um, I want to highlight all these, put them in the mixer. And yeah, so that's what I was talking about with the triplet though. Um, with the hi-hat, basically what I did and the 808, everything, even all the perks, everything. I just went on one third step for everything and um, kind of built this like triplet bounce to it. So everything is um, landing on the one third step, which gives it that feel. Um, and then, yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you don't know, uh, when you're putting the mixture, you can just highlight them all. Um, come to the first, like I do 10 is where I start because it's an even number. Uh, right click on it, go to channel routing, and then route uh, select the channels starting from this track. Or you can do the shortcut, which is shift command L on Mac and then something else on PC. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, then I'm going to, let me see. I'm gonna kinda, let me see, I'm gonna mix these a little bit more. Uh, that's pretty much that. That's good. Um, all right. So now that I have that, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna right click on the pattern, go down, split by channel, and then highlight all of them by holding Shift, and then put them in here. And I'm going to fix all these because I want them to all be even. And yeah, then we're gonna structure this out and make the beat. So real quick. Let me do that, and then I'll let you guys hear part of it. I'm not going to play the whole beat, because it'll probably be long. Um, yeah, let me do that real quick. All right, so I got the structure. I'm actually going to go and add a riser type of thing. Let me go to shout out Cody. He has all the good transition stuff. I'm um, going to add this, and then I'm going to line it up, turn it down. Yeah, so this is the beat, this is the drop. 
Just so y'all can hear it. I'm not gonna play the whole beat. I'll put it in the end of the video. If you wanna hear it. So yeah, that's the beat. Um, super fire. Uh, I really like this beat. Actually, I didn't even like expect it to sound this good. I actually really like this beat. It was super fire. Um, but yeah, that's that's the whole beat. Um, I just want to thank you guys for watching this. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see in the future, uh, make sure you comment that down below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Um, you can check out our beats and our sound kits, everything on midibeats.com. You can also check out all our beats. I'll probably upload this beat as well um, on our Midi Beats YouTube channel, which is just Midi Beats, um, our main channel that has all our beats on it. Um, this will probably be on there. So if you want to listen to the full beat, I'll be uploading that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys learned something. Um, I try to want. I want to keep these videos like as short as I can. So. I, I didn't want to like go too in depth on how I made the melody and everything. So if you guys want to see uh, like melody breakdowns where we just focus on the melody or maybe you want to want me to just focus on the drums to get a more focused um, tutorial video, make sure you comment that down below. Like whatever you guys want to see, uh, I'm down. I got a couple ideas like some melody hacks and stuff like that uh, to help you guys out. But um yeah, that's the whole video. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said before, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Uh, comment down below what you want to see in the future. And uh, make sure you subscribe as well. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.